Hello Leo, this is going to be your reading for July 15th through the 31st. I want to say welcome to all my new people here. If this is your first time, my name is Harley and this is my channel 13 Signs Tarot. If you are returning, thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber, especially all my returning Leos. You guys have always shown me love from the very beginning, and I really appreciate that. If you are a Western 12 sign Leo, your birthday will be coming up soon, and I want to say happy birthday, okay? Um, this reading may resonate for all Leos, but may not resonate for all Leos, okay? So if it doesn't apply to you, please Leave that message and maybe let it go to a cross watcher. Cross watchers, of course, you're going to want to reverse the energies, okay? This can be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be focusing more on your partner's energy anyway. So your, if your person's sign comes up, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it too much, okay? So let's get into Leo's reading. If you need a personal reading, check out the links below uh, to my website. There are video readings, uh, there are text message readings. I also am offering phone readings, mentorship. You can also check out my website work for my candles and my oils. Some of the candles are 25% off right now, okay? So we have separation, time apart from your person is on the horizon. So you guys are on the outs with somebody, but we have very soon. So maybe you've already been in separation with this person for a while um, because of the retrograde. All right. So but clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So some of you have a choice maybe between waiting on this person and moving on. OK, but there's a separation here. Separation doesn't mean an ending, okay? There's definitely a lot of cards about releasing in this, you know, in these decks. But this one is just talking about separation. So the purpose of this relationship in your life right now, Leo, we have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. So this person could definitely be a divine counterpart, but there's definitely some inner child mirroring here. There's some inner child healing going on as a result of this relationship. You're getting in touch with a lot of rare gifts that you may not knew that you had. A lot of you are a part of the golden children, which are not, you know, they're, it's a rare thing. Like you guys may have very strong gifts, like intuitive gifts, being a psychic, star seed, that type of thing, okay? Um, we also have the blue flame, but it's in reverse, spontaneous awakening. So one of you guys haven't been awakened, um, or maybe someone's awakening has been delayed, okay? Pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. So maybe this person is your counterpart, and maybe you both have some sort of twin mission or soul mission, um, but this person hasn't really had their awakening yet, but you have, or something like that could be going on here. All right, but that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's see uh, what else comes out for your person. So this person may feel like they're not awakening yet. Like maybe you've had your awakening. Maybe you're more advanced than this person. So they feel like they need to take time away from you to get their stuff together, to have their awakening. Maybe they may be going through it now. Okay, let's see what's going on for Leo's person and spirit. What's going on for Leo's person? We have someone is cyber stalking you. So this person is cyber stalking you. Page of Swords energy. Okay, he a ho. So yeah, this person could definitely still be in their lower vibrational energy. Okay, they are not awoke yet. All right, you may be woke. So the feminine connection could definitely be a strong healer, tarot reader, intuitive, empath, etc., etc. Okay, you could have strong cancer transits, or you, a lot of you are sidereal cancers. A lot of you are uh, thirteen sign cancers. So there's that. Okay. So let's see what this person is thinking about you. What is this person thinking about you throughout 15th to the 31st? What are they thinking about Leo? What is this person thinking about my Leos? The 15th through the 31st. What are they thinking about Leo? All right, we have the full. Okay, so that could go either way. This person may feel like you're breaking apart from them. You're freeing yourself from them. The five of pentacles at the bottom. So maybe this person feels like you're freeing themselves, yourself from them. Just because the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is you moving away from this person and they're sad about it. This person feels like they're in a state of lack and you're in a state of abundance. Like maybe you're moving away from them. This person probably had several opportunities to activate their, their gifts and awaken, but they resisted by being a player, right? Sag energy, Scorpio energy, Knight of Cups, their feelings towards you. So they want to come in. This person is going to still 
express their feelings with the Knight of Cups. They do have feelings. So this person has feelings for you. Their feelings have grown. Okay, they're not, this person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, not really good at expressing their feelings, but they ha they do have feelings for you with the Knight of Cups. This person may even want a commitment with you, but they feel like you're moving away from them. This person's very financially focused, Scorpio, Capricorn, Energy, Aquarius, Aries. This person is very um, money oriented and they feel like they don't have enough to offer you or they're not in a good place. How is Leo influencing this person's life, Spirit? How is Leo influencing this person's life? We have the Three of Cups. So you could be creating a third-party situation for this person, okay? Um, you're creating third-party energy for this person. They have someone else, Temperance card, Sagittarius. Maybe, let me see. I feel like they're, they're waiting on that to be over, though. But let's see what this Three of Cups. Because I feel like the Temperance card makes you feel like they, they don't want to be with both of you. The two of swords in reverse, yep. So they're waiting to be free from this other person that they're with. So yeah, the temperance card. This temperance card, they're waiting. Yeah, three of swords, mm-hmm, tower. So they're waiting for an ending to happen. They're expecting this third-party situation to blow up in some way. Maybe they're um, only staying with this person until they get financially stable enough to leave the world card. Or they're waiting on a divorce. They're waiting to find out if they have to pay child support or alimony. It could be something like that. Clarify this full card, though. Why are they thinking of Leo as the full card? Why are they thinking of Leo as the full card? I feel like this person feels like you've broken away from them. You've freed yourself from them. You may be even traveling. Yeah, the moon card. They feel like you've gone far away from them, okay? Um, they feel like you got tired of not being clear about where things are headed, so you moved away from them. This person could be a Cancer, of course, or you could have Cancer in your chart very strongly. They are they feel like this this moving away or whatever you did, freeing yourself, was like a tower moment to them. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. They don't know what's going on with you. This person feels like they're in the dark with you. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups for how they feel about Leo? Spirit, show me the Knight of Cups, please. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, some of this person wants to get married. They want to, they want to marry you. The Knight of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor. Some of you, you may already be married to this person. Some of you, I'm hearing for a select few of you. This person is married to you, but they had a baby with someone else. Okay, and they're trying to figure out if they or if that other baby is even theirs. Maybe they were cheating and they there's a possible pregnancy and they're not sure if it's theirs or not. So it could be something like that. They can't let go of the third party yet because they don't know if it's their baby or, you know, they could already have a baby with someone else. There's something like that for a few of you. That's not for everyone. Give me one more about this moon spirit. What is this moon about? Why is this person thinking of Leo as the moon? Like, this person feels like you... You've gotten, they're, they're not sure about what's going on with you. They feel in the dark. The nine of wands. Yeah, like you put your guard up against this person, okay? Um, you may still be communicating with this person, but it's very few far in between with the page of cups. Yeah. So let's see, what is up with this two of swords? Let's clarify this two of swords one more time for Leo. Clarify how this person is influencing Leo's life, the two of swords. I feel like this person is getting more clear about what they do want in their life, though, as a result of you being around them. They weren't decisive in the past. The Hierophant, yeah. Some of you, this person had commitment phobia. That could be it too. The Hierophant, the Nine of Swords. Maybe they weren't necessarily married, but they were afraid of getting committed. They may have been in a long-term relationship where they didn't finally get married. Like they didn't get married to that person um, because they were afraid of commitment. But maybe with you, they actually see themselves marrying you. They didn't see themselves marrying this third party but they see themselves marrying you or maybe they felt like they should have married you instead of this third party. So that could be something as well. And they could be waiting on a divorce to be finalized so that they can marry you. But this is for some of you, this, this is a separation. Let me see if the separation is now, or let me clarify the separation. Is this the 15th or the 31st? The Wheel of Fortune. If you've been separated from this person, you're going to like come back together with them, especially if they're a Sagittarius. Especially if you've been separated for, from them for the last four months or so, okay? But if you haven't been separated from this person, there may be a shift where you guys get into some sort of separation all of a sudden, okay? It's one way or the other. If you've already been separated from this person, you'll be coming back around to them. Others of you, you may wind up separating from this person for a little while because 
they still have some sort of delay with letting go of a third party influence, okay? So that is a thing that I'm seeing with this person. The signs I see, uh, moon and Libra energy. We have Taurus here. We have Sag. We have Aquarius. Uh, Capricorn came out the deck earlier. Scorpio. Cancer. Aries. What's this person's next actions towards Leo? July 15th to the 31st. What's their next actions? What's their next actions towards Leo? I'm going to shuffle a little bit more for you. Because this is going to be your extended card. Good. So that's your extended card. Um, and we're going to look at this person's next actions towards you and clarify. Then we're also going to take this deck and we're going to do the same spread for August. We're going to look at this person's energy towards you in August. So if you're interested, see if you're, how your Leo season, your season of Leo is going to go. Um, check that out in the description box, the extended. Um, also, if you need a personal for your own situation, there is a link for that in the description box, as well as mentorship and my store where there are candles and oils and things like that. There is gonna be an 18 plus reading as well, where we go over this person's sexual energy towards you in uh, July. So if you're interested in seeing 15 through the 31st, 18 plus reading, that'll be on my Patreon, okay? If you're already on my Patreon, you'll get access to that as well as all the other signs. So if you're cross-watching for someone else, you may want to get that so you can see both of your sign. You only have to pay once, right? Okay, so I hope that this helps. Thank you so much, Leo. I will see you in the extended. Bye.